Hello and welcome to one of the first videos I've made for 2022. Talking today really about what I'm actually doing um, behind the scenes on websites. So one of the uh, things I realised in 2021 was that websites could be a lot more interactive for both the people who have the websites and for their users and I'm sure you understand <coughs> when I'm saying that the opportunity to book things and to buy things and to just engage between business and customers is quite important in this day and age. And so one of the first things I really that really crossed my mind was the value of being able to book into things like hotels and to see what's available online, because that's what we do at the moment, don't we? We actually do that quite regularly. So I started looking at the opportunity of engaging by things like using room types, checking in options and checking the no for the number of guests that could actually stay at a particular venue. But then it really crossed my mind that travel was such an important issue and people love their vehicles. It's one of those big things. And I looked at uh, cars and I've got friends who've got particular cars and they love their cars. And one of them was buying a car and I, I really you know, went through my mind the value of being able to look at a car, look at what information is available about the car, in the same way you might do with eBay, but in a, in a slightly different way, um, through clubs, etc. Now, it doesn't just apply to cars, it could be motorbikes, it could be boats, it could be all sorts of manner of things. And you might have a, a project where you would love to be able to promote a whole different variety of uh, items, maybe products, maybe giving specific information. And if that's where you're at, then again, these sites fit into this particular category. You can have a price and a bunch of other details in connection to the site. And so this is one of the sample sites I've got at the moment. Another sample site that I started developing was an accommodation one. Now, I do like travel. And when somebody says, oh, would you like to go to this hotel or that hotel? It does appeal. And the first thing, obviously, we normally look at is the website. We look at the information that's available. What does the room look like? Or in this case, what does the accommodation look like? In this instance, we have an apartment. So the apartment has, in this particular case, a TV, um, a bathroom, and it has a hairdryer, which is going to be very important for some people. And also the number of beds. So a little bit of information. You can also see the number of reviews it might have as well. So again, we have a sample site like this that can be built, uh, that can meet or provide information about the project you might be involved in. Well, as you can probably tell, I don't use um, a barber for certainly for the beard side, or probably you could argue for the hair side as well. But getting uh, for a lot of people, getting down to the barber can be an important part of their um, appearance. Uh, if you've got a beard, you like to be able to have that beard looking all right, looking good. And also, if you have a haircut, then sometimes you've got a particular style that you're after, or you want to maybe change your style. And that, again, completely understandable. One of the things that really struck me when I looked at building this particular site was the fact that we could also book appointments. But the other bit that really strikes me is how often do I know much about the guy that's cutting the hair? Quite often, not a lot. If that guy's doing a you know, beard and whatnot, he might have some specific style and skills we actually look at online, maybe. And so, therefore, additional pages could be made available if you're running a business to really promote those particular aspects of the business, including the different styles these guys have done um, and created that might inspire the customer. So again, this is another domain that we've got um, that works um, as a sample site that you can look at and have a conversation about if that's the business or if that's the interest that you have. 
So, what do I actually use? Well, I'll be open and honest. We have WP Rocket that helps us with our WordPress sites, keeps them moving fairly quickly. We use Elementor and we use Google Jet Engine to actually produce the sites as they are at this time. So, folks, you've watched this very brief video about what I'm currently doing and hopefully uh, it might be of some interest. If it is, let me know. I'd be interested in getting your feedback. What sort of sites do you think would be of use? Maybe you're involved in something that actually could really benefit from an update on a site that could actually make the website more functional to meet the needs of not just your business or project, but also the people who might be accessing it to actually make it more effective for you, to tell you a little bit more about what they're after. Don't forget, your website is, at the end of the day, a shop window for whatever you're involved with. My name is John Ferris. I'd like to thank you very much indeed for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you.